wanted to show an update on my long range tiny whooping. Uh, I've been taking the transmit power with a uh, been taking the power up with a better uh, transmitter. This is the Runcam TX200 and it does 100 milliwatts and I'm getting much better video with this. So I wanted to show I have the camera I'm using is the FTX 900 TW from Tiny Whoop with their 3D printed mount and then I modified it by cutting off the back of the mount and then I glue on I love this glue just welder cement it's basically the same thing as shoe goo so that's the key is it, it glues on and it takes the high temperature because you don't want to use any sort of hot melt because these cameras get these transmitters get really hot and as a matter of fact you have to be flying or else this board overheats I have to have air moving over it so notice it's glued down on the sides I'm using the OSD flight controller which is awesome that's the Esheen F3 flight controller board with OSD it's so nice seeing your battery voltage you don't have to worry about timers anymore so this is uh, comes in at 19.4 grams I tried losing this connector because I like getting rid of connectors as you can see soldering up wires save weight but I ended up getting horrible range uh, and so I bought another board and I'm keeping the connector I might end up losing this shrink here save a little bit of weight uh, notice I put a little bit of glue to fasten the connector a little bit better You're right there and now they're making uh, two blade props so it seems I seem to get better performance I'm only getting two minutes on the small battery packs and four minutes with the larger 250 uh, battery packs on this for flight but with the OSD it's so nice you really don't worry about it you're not going to get stuck because uh, you can fly back before your battery goes bad the antenna I'm using a little bit longer antenna now you can see from my other videos I upped the transmitter power I have a video on that doing the mod so my transmitter is doing a full one watt and then I'm not using the clear view anymore um, clear, I seem to get better range using just the regular um, it's the diversity module, uh, LaForge uh, diversity module uh, I'm going to be doing clear view on top of my house and that'll give me a much better range but I'm going to show you some video now of basically sitting inside my dining room and having to go through a tree, multiple walls. I can pretty much fly around my whole uh, parking lot over the house or townhouse. And uh, let's look at the video. So I fly from the back of the townhouse and I'm going to be putting an antenna on top of the townhouse. I'll update y'all on that. So there's a pretty big tree right in front that I'm having to have the signal go through. Right there, kind of seeing higher altitude. You can see right in the middle of the screen there's that big tree which blocks signal. But I like on the LaForge, it's more graceful at the edge of signal than the clear view. But I'll be showing more clear view. I still have it. Just took it off the goggles. So I'm on the end townhouse right there, right in the middle of it. Yeah, you gotta still tune it a little bit, kind of jumps around. Now you definitely need the more powerful transmitter to get the further range on the uplink side. Now this is uh, really close in uh, here, 
25 milliwatt it was fine but it seems like the range doubled going from 25 to 100 but I'll be doing some range tests too to show that because actually that's theoretically what it should do when you go four times the power you double the range I could actually go all on that parking lot all four corners I could go to it now this is a smaller battery so it uh, lowers quicker in a two minute flight time I hope you like watching the video thanks for watching